Washington tank at Hanford is leaking. Well, the concern is that potentially radioactive material has oozed from the containers that are supposed to last for several more decades. King 5's Gary Chittam joins us now with a look at the new photos and the late reaction from the critics. Gary. Gina Dennis, this is not good news. It was not good news when a lump of highly radioactive material was found last month between the inner and outer walls of a storage tank. And now they found more material in another section of the same tank. There are 149 old single-walled underground tanks at the Hanford Reservation. Since many have leaked, the Department of Energy has been pumping the highly radioactive waste from them to newer double-walled tanks. Last week, inspectors found a glob of radioactive material in an area between the two walls of one of those tanks. Now this. Pictures from another section of the same tank show what appears to be another puddle of nuclear sludge. Pictures taken from that same section of the tank five years ago show no sludge. Something is leaking. The newer double shell tanks of high level nuclear waste contain some of the most deadly material ever created on the planet. They were supposed to last for 40 more years while emptying the old leaky tanks. Hanford officials are quick to point out they don't know yet if the tank is actually leaking or if the material got inside some other way, from a leaking pipe, for instance. But if the tank is leaking, the Department of Energy will now have to question and test the stability of the rest of the double-line tanks at Hanford. Okay, let's point out right now, the risk here is not some nuclear cloud wafting over the southeast corner of the state. But if the material was to get through the outer shell, it could enter the groundwater that leads to the Columbia River. That, of course, would be a very serious threat to human and environmental health. All right, keep us posted, Gary. Thank you.